Today is May 26, 2023. Um, I drove up here to Ravenna because the guys that help work the uh, protective custody case uh, are up here. And I wanted them to hear. Um, do you realize with the where the police were walking around Akron yesterday telling everybody not to say anything while well, they're saying she was weird with herself and said no we found out they photoshopped all that they photoshopped everything before and made up everything and was telling them not to say anything to me okay well that's where my client on Shepler Church Road next door neighbor they told him retired judge Pete drugged and photoshopped everything and made everything up on me March of last year okay that's where Edith Oakland apartment maintenance man they told him December 9 21 that all the tapes before were them and not mean it's just a bunch of men doing crimes down here December 9 21 white man ball with dark eyes distributing food at Stark County hunger task force actually worked the case as a security guard that they always knew the tapes before with them and not me so they never said a word well they can't look at them anyways the fourth amendment over the house the right of the people to be safe and secure within your own person your places your homes against all unreasonable searches or seizures shall not be violated nobody's allowed in your home but protective line cases with statements they're stalking tapes that's where they photoshopped everything they have their fake sodium pentothal reports date rape drugging me tell me say weirdo stuff I guess and photoshopping everything in and out they're not admissible no one can even look at them and they've already admitted to more than 10 people May 12 22 noon my car is bugged uh, they found a tape of them admitting a shower scene in the other room my March 20 or uh, March 2nd or 3rd of 21 uh, 1 8 to 10 30 and I they were breaking with the neighbors they put two clips together put her in a porn it's not her it's them then it's like what you're describing is showering well, May 12, 22, Bubba's restaurant, they found a tape of them admitting. As I walked outside, she figured out what they did. Ha, 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 ha. Shower scene in the other room. In January of 19, one of the guys that watched me said that they had put me using a personal wipey in the other room. Where you use scented wipies after you go to the bathroom, you stand up and you wipe it with them. Yeah. That's disgusting. Do you realize, and then yesterday, up in Akron, while that cop was telling the neighbors where I was working in my home health care. We already verified all the tapes before were them and not her. Do you think that agent looked at him? Well, he knew better than not to. He better not. Uh, he said, uh, then he didn't bother to look into anything. He said, in defrauding anybody is wrong, let alone a victim. Okay. There's a lot more of like January 19, 22, Department of Disability. I was drugged and told to say it February 2nd, 22, Burlington Coat Factory. Drugged and told to say it before. Uh, 8, 9, 21, the apartment building for me, second close defense. There was a lady and little girls living there. They read it out, Dave, and though Dave defended me on tape, that, uh, he had roofie me and I was getting sick on his drinks um, and they told the police with a clipboard and a badge a few days after 8 9 21 that I was drugged and told to say a bunch of neighbors okay uh, November 2nd 3rd 21 save a lot an african-american lady had showed up about 1 50 p.m. my phone's tapped from the case um, that uh, she found out they made everything up and it was all them and not me and nobody's to say a word and then we got Ed we got the guy at the Hunger Task Force. We have my client's neighbor on Shepler Church Road. We have the guy at the Department of Disability. And then we have the men at uh, Bubba's Restaurant. And then KFC, a year ago today at noon, uh, they came in and said that the uh, shower scene in the other room was done on purpose to make you look weird. They're stocking tapes. They're not admissible. See, that's where none of this is admissible. And they already know I'm drugged and framed. See, they, the police have been calling around telling everybody not to say anything to me. They already know. So they run around telling people I have charges. I've never been questioned or wrongdoing. I've never been prosecuted, never been found guilty. They lied to people. They had the court hearing, found me guilty, and didn't even bother to talk to me. That is a big scam. 
I couldn't be, I'm a DSP. I do home health care. I can't even have an accusation. There was another guy in Ravenna got uh, arrested not too long ago for um, cyber stalking. Was taking people's pictures off their Facebook, Instagram, photoshopping them, and then photoshopping them in videos. I think he only knew one of his victims out of seven. He tried to uh, store up money. That's sex trafficking. Do you realize that officer, with him saying that defrauding anybody is wrong, let alone victims? Do you realize that agent opening that case, promising money, protection, have the police watch me, not pulling me out, not getting me money, is fraud. And, pro and saying he opened it. It's fraud. It's RICO charges. Those, both those agents, the one last name where they said Karen's will, there was a guy, last name, it, it was a lot longer, but he shortened it to Will and his nickname was Will. The other one had a different last name and I sent it into the police department and I remember the, that weird last name. I looked at him up. He retired in 18, and that other guy retired in 19. My one friend from the prosecutor's office in Stark County, he retired within the last two years. Or he resigned in the last two years, okay? He said it's a fraud scheme where they kicked in your door. They probably did set up on cameras. They could never use it against you. He said it was done in a house. He said where they said they photoshopped a shower scene in the other room, they probably did. He said where you had bruises you couldn't explain, your heart racing, you're throwing up. You had marks you couldn't explain. They probably were date rape drugging you and telling you to say something stupid. They can never use it against you. They did it in a house. It's a fraud scheme. I have a friend that knows somebody who knows somebody who deals drugs. He said he went to him. He said all the drug dealers in Ohio know it's a drug scam from the drug dealers out there. So, you know, this, I got to thinking, you know, where they were even talking about that one girl and her family being involved in this, that they were involved in a long time before it started. March of 18, a girl, walk, young blonde girl walks uh, around us in a restaurant right beside us. Gives me a shame look like, does he think it's funny bringing her rams her body in the back of my booth? I'm like, who is she? He's like, I don't know. She keeps doing it and they keep talking about Dave. Who are those people? I don't know. They were one of the set of mean parents helping out in this. For him and Jack had a plan since March. Now, she's a young blonde girl. She is not apostolic. You know, my brother had told me that my brother-in-law, Tim, and, he, and Dave were going to strip clubs in 2000. I didn't believe him. That they were going out at, at work, where they're supposed to be working midnights, taking off. How much you want to bet she's a stripper? Where do you find human traffickers in a drug cartel? strip clubs. You guys have all been punked by strippers in a drug cartel. So you're saying that FBI agent looked at stocking tapes with the Fourth Amendment over the house, swore his life over the Constitution, broke a federal law, defrauded a victim that they were drugging, beating, raping, human trafficking. The poor thing is laying there bruised, throwing up, dizzy, almost passing out has a personal affection, getting seen by the doctor, all men, family, physicians, all summer long. They didn't know what was wrong with me. My hair was even thinning out. Clear into March, it started thinning out. They were probably poisoning me. My hair grew back in two years. They would have their fake sodium pentothal reports. Uh-huh. And they were date rape drugging me. They date rape drugged Eric. They left his name in Altman Hospital. They left Steve's name at Carps. Act like they were stalking me. Had police departments looking for these weird stalkers they thought the churches hired. And got Eric High on November 18, 22, 2 to 6 p.m. Told him to go in and confess. All the tapes before were me and not her. Was my idea to come up with it? My idea to do it. My idea to say it for all these people to turn on. They fell for it. Ah! Right by the hair salon, 2 to 6 p.m., November 18, 22, 2 to 6 p.m. Had, had him down. April 15, 16, 23, Dave finally confesses to Danny on a legally tapped phone. He had hired some guy named Pete on his own to tape her unaware, and he was the only one up there doing it. 
after all those things to her. He was, a, he was pimping me out, letting them drug me, beat me, rape me. So he made love to me all the time. He's probably showing off for the button cameras. Sex trafficking videos of me and him in bed. Photoshopping that shower scene in the other room. Date rape, drugging me, telling me to say something stupid. They said they rest, uh, raised some guy named Chris out of the room. I had marks and I had bruises and they were violating me in my own house. I would go out and work in the backyard. And I'd come in and wash my hands, make something to eat and drink, go use the bathroom, wash my hands even better, sit down to your drink and get dizzy. Hours have passed and I'm, I wake up and I have bruises. And I'm like... Did I, where did I bang myself and I'd be sick and I'd sorry I lost 18 pounds before I called the FBI and another 70 in the next four and a half months I couldn't even keep saliva down they were drugging me up so bad these people have been punked by strippers and drug cartels Oh, Pete has it set up. She can't get no money. Pete doesn't have anything unmissable. They can't even look or listen. They can arrest him for hiring a stalker, though. They're non-credible stalking tapes. My friend that worked at the prosecutor's office said he had heard of a weird case of an officer monitoring some Muslim man on his own. The Muslim man found out, went to a judge, and the judge looked at that cop and said, you knew better than being that at home. Uh, that man had a right to privacy. So did I. So did I. And the right to remain quiet and a right to an attorney. He said, like, he said, he said that that judge told him that he can sue you for this. But yeah. The police need to arrest Dave. He even told him he's seen that agent up at that church. Said he was the only agent from the agency looking into it on his own. He even talked to him. So where I tried to tell that agent someone told on me, he called me a liar. Why wouldn't he ask for the name of the church? Because it was him, wasn't it? Huh? An officer verified it in Canton, November 6, 22, Trinity Gospel. The officer verified that they seen a, an agent telling her before she called that agent back. Oh, my Lord. And then when I tried to tell him what happened in Ravenna at the Giant Eagle, that that guy, I heard the voice, I can't believe she's here, after Dave said he had a phone call to make. And he wouldn't answer his phone, and I had got a flu shot. Realizing the four attempts on my life, followed and rounded, attempted to break it, knew where the security system made a mistake with the Perry police then. Okay? Followed and rounded, linked back to that church. After that girl showed up, I was almost kidnapped by the Detroit boys' kidnapper. And then almost carjacked. He bragged with Dixie that he uh, knew I was getting carjacked and uh, took off. Realizing the four attempts were that. How stupid was I? And he had held me down how he had hired two men to kill me. One to slit my throat, stab me in the heart, shoot me if I run. He had, and I had over where I didn't hang up on Terry's conversation. She still don't know I know. The church has taken up 25000 to hire two men to murder me. Because I got well the year uh, Ron's kid died. What I had went into spontaneous remission 80% of the time. And I had to work with the doctor for nine months. Seven to nine months working and pulling myself around for it to go in remission. And they said all that spelling was due to a medication error. I talked to a nurse. And it's a good thing I got off of all of it. They're all playing these people. Realizing it had been them. I had went up to Advanced America. Annie was the district manager. Sent me to Streetsboro instead of Darrow Road in Twinsburg. So they had somebody go up to Twinsburg. Cost me a job. Went up there and they verified it wasn't me. Hmm? They were, Katie was leaving threats in the mall. Of... Um, their church had a permanent plan to do away with me. To three people. Sarah, her old manager that, that also went to work with Katie at Ashcroft and Oak. And um, her old manager that had been them trying to kill me. And that I better call the police or a detective. Hmm? So 
So while I'm in Giant Eagle, he calls me, where are you at? I'm buying something for dinner. I got a phone call to make, don't go, and he won't answer his phone back. I get a look up and they're giving flu shots. It's not even safe for me to be here. I'm out in the middle of nowhere and I know, I don't know anybody. What am I gonna do? I go ahead and get a flu shot. Got dizzy, sat down on the bench. Hear the voice, I can't believe she's here. It's the one, same one as I got her. The one that tried to kidnap me in front of Terry. I'm like, oh my God, he's here. I stand up and I turn my card, he comes up behind me. I stab you right here now if it wasn't for that security guard. The pizza hut lady's like, are you gonna stab her and get it all over with? You won't, I won't make it out for that security guard. So I turn my cart into the bank, got in front of somebody, I want to open an account. The pizza hut lady walks up to the male banker, Huntington Banker. I get paid to watch her. He's like, lady, stay out of it. He's like, she's like, no, I get paid to watch her. He's like, lady, I mean it, stay out of it. It won't be worth it in the end. And he yells at her again and she walks off and I look over and the guy that tried to kidnap me, tried to carjack me, threatened to knife me, calls me and inst instantly, uh, or he, they walk off together and David instantly calls me. And I put him on hold and won't let him know what he just did. I told that agent that. Was there a camera above the bench? I don't know. If you don't know if there's a camera above the bench, you better say you're lying and I'll put you in jail. It wasn't my place to know if there was a camera. My place was to stay alive. Um, he's like, I said, I'll put you in jail. I'm like, fine, whatever. Made me beg for my life. Listed me informant for life. Opened an account with 5000 a month for life for working this case. Pull me out if it got too bad. Da 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 da. Even when you tell. Da 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 da. But if you tell somebody, they threaten me. I already told him Dave and the church people knew. He called me a liar. It was probably him. I told you I didn't believe he was real, so I Googled to the office of Star County FBI Task Force. Found him there. When Dave was threatening Dixie and the baby's life. And they, uh, they yell out, he's got a list. Well, I'm working on it. Called him again when I seen the guy down the road. Took off through the side woods. Said, you tell those police up there to get a hold of it. We're busy. They were too busy and too arrogant to look into it. They should have turned me over to the marshals or the sheriffs. And they would have arrested the hell out of these people. And then they retired and just left it open. I have a friend. I went out to eat with him on January 20th, 23. Local police department, two and a half hours away, know about the case. That agent opened with you. They knew about the Texas group involved in your case. I said, oh, the Kingsman, is that what they called herself? He said there was a retired judge in Texas in this big human trafficking scam. They're going to use that case that agent opened with you to get these people. They're not releasing much information. They found 35 people tied up and gagged in a railroad car. They don't know how they got them in there. And they're getting ready to take care of this. Do you know what happened February 14th? The sheriffs and the marshals out of this area arrested 800 people nationwide. I was working at my one client. was a two-client lift. Uh, her Lori, they had took her family member. And laughed in her face that they cut her up and tied her, tied her up and cut her up in pieces. And had people show up in stores and make fun of her. That was the hardest conversation to keep together. I couldn't tell her how I knew. Her one friend had got killed in Canton. She's like, this is as bad as when they took my family member. And laughed in my face how they tied her up and cut her in pieces and how she died. Like it's funny they raped her. I took a deep breath and I said, people are sick. She said, uh, you want to see a picture of her? And she was beautiful. And I said, I took a deep breath. I said, well, you know the guy in the white van. She said, like, how did you know about the white van that took my family member? Took a deep breath. I said, do you know all the Florida plates that were here? She lives in Louisville, too. She's like, I know, I knew about them. They were in the local bar. She goes to the local bars. They were in there. I said, did you know about Henry Moffey? Sounds about right. He was with them. Show her the picture from Instagram. That's not him. She said, but he is with them. I said, they said they were a gentleman's club in Florida. She said, no, they said they were the Detroit boys. That's like the house angels. 
that guy I went out to eat that said he had a, a friend on the police department, he said, also told me on January 13, 23, that he had a, knew somebody who knew somebody who dealt drugs and went to him. All the drug dealers know. And I'm not going to tell you all the things he said. But at the end, you know what he said? That it's a drug scam from drug dealers out of this area that are human trafficking people. And they knew I didn't know. So, we, well, I'd like to know, even my friend that was from the prosecutor's office, Dave confessed to someone that he um, had someone break in your door and stalk you. Duh, the police better arrest him. No, they're not admissible. Duh, he better, and they had him do all those things. Why isn't he in jail? I'd like to know that. Because can Dave Hall have, can he have people break in? Huh? Can he have people break in your house? Hmm? Can he have people break in your house? Hmm? Stalk you? No. He can't do it to me either. Can he have him Photoshop shower scenes and extort money out of you and get you in trouble? No. Can he um, have somebody break in and date rape drug you? Lie they have sodium pentothal reports tell you to say stuff and Photoshop scenes? Hmm? Leave you bruised and banged up and throwing up and dizzy and not know what's wrong with you? And then try to extort money? Or does he go to jail for being a vile, sick criminal? Let alone have him raped in sex traffic videos. Why isn't he in jail? And no non-credible stalking tapes are admissible. I told Officer Reinhardt in Louisville about it. He started laughing. He said, I don't care what they say they got. I don't care what they say they did. And until Will at the Canton FBI took your statement... They couldn't even be in your in your home. They go to jail. It's illegal to be in somebody's home no matter what. Except for protective life cases with statements or they go to jail. And they're not admissible. I'd like to know why Dave's not arrested. He was a main subject for trying to have me killed. Their permanent plan to do away with me? Drugs and photoshopping. You've been punked by the drug cartel and strippers. Hmm? They tried to form, frame the Portage County Sheriff's. So I went up to Miss Hall. What these people did said they did is illegal. I said you couldn't look or listen. It's the Fourth Amendment. Yes. Not one of our officers were in your home, nor did they have knowledge of anybody being in your home outside of protective light case. I said with statements. Yes. That would be illegal. So why isn't Dave in jail? Can he do this to you? That one guy in Ravenna was cyber stalking, photoshopping people and then photoshopping them in videos and try to extort money out of them. He's in jail for 12 years for cyber stalking. What are these people doing? Hmm? Sextortion? That's where the police are running around telling everybody from Akron to Navarre not to say a word to me. They already know the tapes before were them and not me. Over 10 people told on them. And they heard them laugh and uh, about doing it to me. And they break. They were drugging me up in Walmart 62 from the first of the case. Some old man showed up for every idle word you tell on us. I'll turn on you. I'm like, who are you? You try to leave Dave, I'll list you a child molester. I'm like, who are you? Right in front of the cops. He said, uh, you know that bruise on your leg? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, I use sodium pentothal on you. It's a lethal outlaw drug you lie under. He said, you know what you told me? And I never talked to that man. He broke in my house and stabbed me with a needle in my sleep. You talk about illegal? And then said something about a wrong nightgown and bought lie in life, a pain cause of it? I got away from him. I went home and had Dave verify they only made fun of the back of my knees once and I didn't even know that and I got until the year before. That guy didn't even know what he was talking about. Like the investigator said, we found out some old ass was drugging up Karen before. 
I got two witnesses on my phone of being told to say weirdo stuff. I don't know. And I don't even know what to do about this anymore. It's like, you know, I have a retired a friend that's a retired judge, uh, retired sheriff out of this area. He's like, are your local police slow? They should have arrested that agent or that retired judge involved in any of this. They can't do any of this. That agent just didn't care. He's too arrogant to look into anything. Hmm? Let the police handle it. Police need to take care of this. Say you're in my home, you go to jail. Outside the protect a lie case with statements. You go to jail for stalking me. Dave can't hire a stalker. Duh. I'll be like the guy that used to be a prosecutor. Duh. The police better arrest him. And no, nothing's admissible. He can't do that. I have a right to privacy in my own home. The FBI can't even be in drug lords' homes or mafia's homes. They have a right to privacy. They can't be in their inner office. That's why they sit out in their little vans. It's illegal to be in somebody's home no matter what. It's entrapment. I'm going to upload this.